Okay, if you have a weak heart or, uh, you know, you could draw, you could faint easily, I'll give you uh, five seconds to leave this, leave this before I send, before I start this video. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, history in the making. Last night, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be on the side of the Met Heads in Fredericton. I wonder how many faded so far. Uh, as I've been doing for the past week, two weeks, I've been walking. In the morning, i got to get out of here, walk the bridges, and at night, in the dark, I walk uptown and come back down. And it's so, it's a little bit scary, a little bit concerned, but you know, you can't live in fear, right? You see these met heads with hoods on. and So yesterday, last night, uh, me and DOG, we go up Prospect, and then we had a black coffee, and uh, one, uh, two, uh, two Timbits for him. And it's just like walking in a bar, a western bar. It's, there was some met heads that was inside keeping warm, and they see me, of course, I'm the friends of the met heads. Anyway, after a while, one guy approached me, and then... You know, it just, uh, hey, are you Charles LeBlanc? The first thing I say, uh, do you have a gun? Uh, no, 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 very polite, won't mention no names. Sat down, had a little chat. He was kicked out from the city motel, blah, blah, blah. Look, I look at him, I said, do you think it has to do with your attitude? So anyway, I just look, I said, listen, I just, that's, I play the devil advocate, always been. Oh, they were nice. Another guy approached me. But there's one thing that uh, I got, it's, it's sad, it's sad, you know, of course I won't sit down with them outside in the dark, but you know, it was to listen to the story and all that, but one issue that really I find disgusting, um, one guy said he hasn't took a shower in two months. So I remember, feel like Kevin Bang Bang Vickers. I remember, remember him, a liberal, the guy that shot the guy in Ottawa, wanted to be the the, prime, the premier of the province. I remember when the rooming house at Carlton Street was burnt down, and it was what twenty six people living there, rooming house. For the next two months, I never seen so many, so many. Uh, less fortunate, wasn't homeless, less fortunate wearing good clothes. Good clothes, because the Baptist Church, all the church got involved, especially the Brunswick Baptist Church, they really got involved. Terry Atkinson, the pastor, I remember Thanksgiving, he said, well, when you go home, enjoy your Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, while you're eating it, think about those 26 people that's homeless because of the fire last night. Holy Jesus, the gym was half full, but clean clothes. What should happen here in Fredericton? They should have a shower day. A shower day involved with the church. They could go to the medical clinic. I believe you would need two, two or two staff, two security guards. Right now there's one. There should be two. Shower day. Wednesday or Thursday, whatever, it will be shower day. You go in there, okay, you strip naked, okay, uh, here's the bag, okay, put all your clothes, dirty clothes in a bag, lock her up, okay, see the uh, worker here, throw that in a dumpster, boom, and then give them, after they had a nice shower and shave, give them brand new clean clothes. I think that would be a really a good gesture to do to help the Met heads. That's the second time I, 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 made, I made sure they weren't walking from, uh, from the prison anymore and now I'm doing this. But anyway, no, I really think they should have a shower day to announce. A shower day for really on like you look at the church, the Walmart church, they have every Wednesday uh, a meal day. 
Okay, but you know, really, you don't need no no meals. But I mean, I don't. I never seen nobody on the street going, "Oh, I'm hungry, food, food." I never seen it. And but they're they're in need to have clo clean clothes. You can't get them a jacket. If you get them a jacket, they're just gonna throw it away a couple of days later. I mean, you see the jackets all over the place. But it's pretty hard when it's very cold. Uh, to throw a t-shirt or a, a hoodie or a jeans out. So I think really they should organize a shower day and so people on the street can end these at least while well, they survive the winter months at least you know have a shower at least you know once a week or once uh, two weeks or whatever but right now there's nothing there and they should.